<laughs> Alright, here we are again. We <laughs> we disabled the thing again. And now we can do this thing to finally save that little penguin. Which is clearly stuck in the vending machine over there. Upon which we can finally move on with the game. It's been a troubling and arduous journey. But this is a fairly troubling and arduous game sometimes. But we'll get there. It doesn't look like this is very well blocked. That laser just doesn't seem to actually reach the very edge. This is a very strange contraption they've built here. And I wouldn't be surprised if you could just jump over the lasers as well entirely. But we're just not... Well, apparently it works because I'm incapable of walking, as it turns out. As it turns out, this is the perfect defense against someone like me. There's still the problem. Oh, there we go. See, look. I see what you did there now. Uh, when is he like? Oh, 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 I see. Oh, it didn't do the ability. That's that's cool. Yeah, why not? Uh, although I, I think I can. Yeah, I can just go there now. <laughs> All right. Well, we did the thing. Uh, we're going to get instantly destroyed, I think. Oh, or yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel like this puzzle was being made and then someone was like, hey, we don't have time for this puzzle anymore. Just leave it like that. And that's what they did. <laughs> but we got through it. We got through it in the end, and now we can finally go back up here. Why does it not use... There we go. I was having trouble using that for some reason. I wonder if I actually need to push that box there. Uh, probably. I'm just gonna try this once, though. I... No. <laughs> it was worth a shot. It looked like it had potential. But it, it does look like we're going to need to push that box again. Which is great. Uh, while not being seen, of course. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like, it didn't even play the cutscene this time. The, the game's just like, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I guess uh, it kind of makes sense, I suppose. Because I guess the game didn't expect me to jump back here again and then get caught over there. And that sort of just messed up everything. Because that is kind of an odd, like, like uh, turn of events, I suppose. All right, yeah. Yeah, because it does automatically save the moment you get down here. So that's it sort of makes sense what happened there. I'm <laughs> kind of curious if I can reach weird places by jumping through the ceiling there, but I don't know. I wonder where this leads. Does this actually go back or does this lead to an entirely new area? Because it does look like it's going back, but I don't I don't think it is. There's also that box that I could clearly push downstairs to move to the next area, but you know, this, this works just as well. There's a lot of penguins in this place and they all look the same. They all look like bottles, which concerns me a bit. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit concerned about the various bottle penguins available in this area. I'm worried about them. Oh, tch, God. Uh, how about... Yeah, there we go. That's just, just, that's little private's ability. I can turn into a flower pot and basically become one with... I... Okay, I did that entirely wrong. But I... I'm too stealthy for this game. And the game cannot currently see me. But if I had done this... I would also have been too hard to spot for the octopus. So all in all, it went perfectly according to plan. So there's a couple things I can do from here, I think. I can like just jump down. I can use this. Oh, I can just do this and fall forever. That's pretty cool. I could probably just jump over the laser fence like this. Had I done that correctly, it probably would have worked. But we're just gonna go back. We're just gonna be nice. To the devs, just go over here, fall forever, find a place where we're not falling forever, and jump over the lasers over here. Is this intended? Sure! Why not? Why wouldn't it be? I'm over here, right? So if it's not intended, how did I do it? Yeah, so all in all, it's part of what the natural route through this game is. Surely. We are unlocking a thing. I don't know what it is, but we're unlocking it, so that's good. 
I wouldn't be overly surprised if I could jump on top of this. And indeed, just go to the ones next to it like this as well. Very good. I feel like we are skipping a reasonable portion of puzzles here by doing this. <laughs> but that's fine, because I don't feel like it right now. I have been taunted by this particular level for too long. And now I'm going to taunt back a bit. Because you push my buttons, and now I'm going to push yours. Because that's how Quid Quo Bro works around these parts. Apparently I can access the monitor from pretty much any location. So I can just stand on top of it and push the buttons like that. Good job, Kowalski. What would we do without you and your hacking skills? We've opened the safe and removed a large portion of electricity. Go us. I tried to float. Somehow I'm all the way to the right now. <laughs> sure. This might be a little bit of an issue, but I feel like this is not impossible. Yeah, we got this. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We made it through, and now we can just go back down to the thing. Like, we could use private's ability. We could probably also just go down here. This probably leads to the same place, let's be honest. This looks... Uh, I mean, I'm taking kind of a strange route right now. Like a little bit. Oh, that's very rude. I mean... I wouldn't be surprised... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the game wants me to push this thing, maybe? Yeah, it probably wants me to push something onto the thing. I'm I'm not gonna do that. I'm just... Uh, Super Penguin Kowalski reporting for duty. This could be bad. Oh, hey, I removed one of the lasers. That's blocking our progress entirely. Good job, lasers. One point for you. What, what does the game even want from me here? I'll be honest, I don't know. Apparently I can siddle, sidle through this. And presumably I could actually just jump down. And I would probably be at the safe, I think. I mean, I don't really see a reason why that wouldn't be the case. And there's also this entire thing, like what even- Oh, okay, we have to run. Oh, I get it! Because that's the icon for Rico! We have to do the thingy, the wish! Now it makes sense. Alright, we, we can see a little bit more of the game now. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do this exciting Simon Says Dynamite puzzle. Which we have to repeat every single time we want to place a bomb. Because it's fun. Simon Says is the best game ever made, as proven by scientists of games. Science Gem says this is true. And Science Gem would never lie. By an unfortunate turn of events, Science Game name, his real name is Simon, and that has nothing to do with... The bias that is clearly going on here. Hey, I didn't have that laser. All right, so now we know how to get there without you basically cheating with Kowalski, who basically seems to just be the best penguin on account that he can float, and that's actually just useful everywhere. So that's cool. Um, with some luck, I can just clip my way through the floor here, given that the game has lost all sense of s stability. And um, sometimes I might actually press the right button to do the actual floating required to get to the places where I want to be. Yeah, that floating ability, when used properly and not by an idiot like me, it seems breaking a bit. Like, it doesn't seem like the game was fully prepared for the powers of the floating ability that this game has to offer for the player, which is me in this particular instance. But it could be anyone. Could be you. Think about it. You could be playing this game right now. You could be a penguin floating your way downtown, walking fast. Something, something, because you're homebound. It could be you. You could be the one getting the cheesy dubs. You could be the one trying to turn off the lasers and legitimately doing this puzzle, which I could now just easily solve by just going right. Uh, but I choose not to but because I want more cheesy dibbles. Which is my entire reasoning. I don't know if Cheesy Devils do anything. I, um... I'm gonna be honest, I think I missed a couple. Because when I had to replay the entire level, uh, I think I reached... I forgot to do an area, and it teleported... It teleported me out of that area, so... There's a good chance I missed some Cheesy Devils. Which... Is a little bit unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit sad about that. 
A little bit sad about the lack of cheese that's currently in my life. A little bit sad that that ability has a recharge that's slightly too long to be enjoyable. But what are you going to do? Waiting is fun. Waiting elongates your game. And elongating means more fun. More time spent having fun is what that means. And that's what we're doing. So can I just go... Yeah, I kind of just fall down here and just... Yeah, I could have just done this from the start, really. But I chose not to, because I'm kind. Kind like that. I feel like one thing I could do is probably just go through this as well. Let's be honest. We've done it before. We could probably just clip through that and be stuck forever. But how about we don't? How about we don't? It probably isn't a very good idea. I was kind of checking if I could just sneak through there, but it didn't look like it. I mean, it's not the best guard for anything. Like, the laser's not really that effective. And the squids, octopus, whatever they may be, they're blind. They don't have eyes. They, sh they, do they look like they have eyes, but I'm pretty sure they're just googly eyes that someone put on this sad blind squid. Because, quite frankly, it is not capable of using the sense of sight. Let's be honest here. Uh, I need to do this quick, I think. Because this... Or maybe the squid cannot actually see me while I'm doing this minigame. That's also actually a possibility, on account that I'm currently still not being seen. And, yeah, okay. Sure. Sure! Why not? Why wouldn't... Okay, my... <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go here. Sure. Whatever. I don't care anymore. We're just gonna keep moving. Gonna save more penguins. Gonna keep moving on. And, uh, that's just gonna be the end of it. That's just gonna be how it is. And, uh, no one, no one should question my motives. Because I feel like my motives are quite obvious. I keep pressing the wrong button, and I don't know why. For some reason, B just seems like a more natural button to press in these instances, on account that it seems to be the action button for everything. But... Oh well, we get through that eventually. Is there a point to me actually doing that? Probably not. I probably didn't even need to do all that mumbo-jumbo. But hey, sometimes you just gotta show the game its, uh, its full potential. That's what we're doing here. Remember that there's still a penguin left to be saved, but I wanted to go upstairs first because of reasons. That's a pretty good enough reason for me, if you ask me. I do wonder what these cheesy dibbles are good for, though, and if there is a reason to be collecting as many as possible. Maybe there's a secret ending. Maybe there's a secret game that you can unlock by collecting all the cheesy dibbles. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? I definitely don't. And maybe we'll never find out. Because if I have to replay this entire level one more time, I'd be pretty sad, actually. I don't really want to do that. I'm not gonna lie. This, uh... That doesn't sound like a very enjoyable experience to me. And I do not wish to do so. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what happens when we cross the paths given to us. We are being stealthy. Don't worry, guys. He can't see us. Uh, is there anything over here? It looked like there was potential for stuff being there, but there was not anything there. I can see you, camera. Don't worry. But I want the cheesy dipples. I'm pretty sure the thing just turned off. So I can get the cheesy dipples. This is very important to me. I'm, I have to make the number go up because it's a video game and that's what you do in video games. In video games, your number one source of enjoyment is making an arbitrary number go up a lot. And we are making it... We're it's already at 174. Cheesy dibbles. And my god, I feel like I'm having 174 funs right now. That's how much fun I'm having. With this little game. And it's constantly repeating minigames. <laughs> uh, to be fair though, this is a licensed game. It is licensed on a movie specifically. And movie licensed games generally have to make... They have to be made in a rush. And have to be made... Pretty much as... They have to be released the moment the game comes out usually. Unless you're, uh, a certain comic book-based game, which had a PC port come out this year. But, for most games, you have to come out basically the same time as the movie, which was also the case for this game. And I wouldn't be surprised if you have to rush it a bit. Whereas the 
other Penguins of Madagascar game house based on the TV show, which is currently running its third season, I believe. And there's already at like a hundred something episodes, and they just probably have more time to make that game. Which is probably why their product is better. <laughs> is this a camera or a lamp? It's a camera. I couldn't tell, genuinely. But it looked like a lamp. Mm. Do you not do this? Like, come on, I'm just pushing buttons here. I don't know if I've... Okay, yeah, there's a specific... I think I've solved it. Hooray! I got a hundred... This icon... Okay, there was a question mark icon, but it disappeared, so... Go me, I guess. What, 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 what do we do now, though? I mean, we infiltrated the vault and did the thing. I guess we're just gonna go up the elevator now? I can't even remember if that's where we came from. Like, my mind is just kind of turning off the more I play this game. And I'm still pressing the wrong button to do the floating thing. Maybe this this thing will actually just go further down when I press the button again. Let's test that one out. Maybe that's uh, what's going to happen here. Uh, no, that didn't happen. I shouldn't be running into the wall. Oh, there's a checkpoint here, no? So I guess we did the correct thing. Yeah. Very good. I guess this is also not where we came from because there's penguins there. So, all in all, my brain has indeed just been turned off entirely. And uh, don't ask me any questions now because I don't know an answer anymore to any of them. I don't know an answer to any question. This is a problem. Uh, yeah. Although we did just save. It's also weird. Those sequences run at 60 frames per second. The entire rest of the game runs at 30, which is why I'm recording this game at 30 FPS, so you won't even be able to see their wonderful 60 FPS little mini cutscenes there, but had I known, I may have recorded it at 60 frames per second. Probably not, but I could have. I had the option in that case. It is very, very bizarre to see it switch. This is also a little bit strange. I don't think they really had a full grasp of staircases at that point, and they seem to... Make me push me away and whatnot. Like, look at this. Look, look at the, look at what's going on here. It's beautiful. This is proof that games are art. And with that art proven, we can move on. I know there's still a squid somewhere up there. And in fact, I'm gonna just switch to the wrong penguin. And then Skipper, who has been used for virtually nothing because he's basically useless in this game <laughs> but hey we uh, we have the option to use him and maybe this could be a good point to use him even though arguably we could probably just jump past the troubles there we go penguin slap i hadn't really used that before until now wasn't really a reason to but now we did it now we can move on now we can do the do now we can I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I only have to press five buttons and I managed to press the wrong one. At least it plays the same sequence again. Because this is the kind of level the game expects of my intelligence when playing this. It would appear. Like, this is not a game aimed <laughs> towards grown men. It, it's weird. Very strange. Although, to be fair, like, Penguins of Madagascar is just so good. Like, this show is fantastic. I could just probably write an entire book about how much I like Penguins of Madagascar. I choose not to, because I'm a bad writer. And it would just be me fanboying all over the place. But, it is a very good show. And presumably the movie is quite good as well. I wouldn't know because I haven't seen it. But I, it has a lot of good actors and this, this, the show is consistently good. So I would imagine the movie is probably good as well. I just can't tell you. But I'm making a strong assumption towards the quality of the movie. While we play through this game, I'm gonna say the game doesn't quite match the quality of the movie, in fact. Even without having seen the movie. I question that the quality of the video game based on the movie and the movie itself are of equal levels of success in that regard. I am having trouble jumping because I'm using Smash Brothers control to move. Which is, uh, mostly right, but in some cases, you just don't move, which is a small problem. Yeah. But at least I can get on top of this box. Is there a point to this? No. But I can get really high. 
And there's an invisible wall here. I tried. I tried. I tried so hard. Got reasonably far. And uh, all in all, I'm going to call it success. So take that for what you will. We're going to get spotted, but I don't care. It makes no difference. Let's be honest here. There's a bunch of trees over there. It's probably, it probably is the level exit. I'm just going to run all over the place. Oh, we're going to run over here, I guess. Is there a reason? No. Of course there isn't. There's never a reason for me to do things. But that won't stop me from doing them. Boom. We... Mm okay. So, okay. Um, we didn't get all the cheesy devils. We missed four, which is weird. That's not a number I expected. I expected ten, but there you go. We didn't complete the environment start to end with no lockdowns. I don't know what that actually means, but I guess it means that we didn't get caught. We did it under an hour. This this level has been 45 minutes long, which is pretty impressive. We found all the checkpoints. Well done. We didn't redirect all the stuck penguins. We missed two. Apparently, we found the red cheese dibble, and of course, we didn't complete all the updated objectives. Blah, blah, because we failed. Oh boy. Okay, so that wasn't that was the thing. Location: Penguin HQ, Tiki Island. Time: The next day. Well, last night's mission was a squid fest. Hey, at least we scored all the cheesy dibbles. I cannot do your voice. It's too adorable and high-pitched. Something's not quite right. Penguins being kidnapped by vending machines, traps, tentacle tenchmen. What are you thinking, Skipper? Someone's got up us in their crosses. Time to deploy Operation Two Steps Ahead. Skipper, was that on the tree? Paper! I knew it. It looks like a map, sir. Is it a map for treasure? So it is. I wonder where it leads to. Sir, look at this cheese powder smears on the paper. I smell dibbles. Rico, run dibble powder test to confirm. Blech. It's a 99.9% .9 match to the big score. The holy grail, the cheesiest of the cheesy. The legendary golden dibble. Blech. What was that, Rico? The ink on the map tastes like octopus. <laughs> of course it does. Those sneaky octopuses, they have no idea that they're messing with the elitist of the elite. The question is, who's pulling all the strings? What are we gonna do, Skipper? Blah. If we find the golden dibble, then we find the enemy. Kowalski, location. The world's last golden dibble is located in Monte Carlo. In the casino vault. Rico, pack the map. Suit up, boys. We're off to Monte Carlo. Which I'm gonna do the next time. This does indeed appear to be the level hub. And we have unlocked level two. Game's actually longer than I expected. So that's, that's all right. And next time, we're just gonna go to Monte Carlo and see what's going on over there. And I hope you guys enjoyed it so far, and I hope to see you watching that part as well. Bye-bye.